I don't even know if I have words. I'm he's so done. tired. <laughs> Uh, he's really sort of good. We're on our way to go and get Sailor's with merch. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> Guys, I've got another marathon plate. <laughs> it's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head up? Any night, any day. Take you away. All I need is just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Better nights, better days. When you're here with me, babe, cause you're all that I crave. So I want to. Cute little studio for the day. Can't do much vlogging because cameras are currently in use, but this is our cute little studio. Jade's over here just doing her makeup and topping Don't hide up. away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed. Hello guys, welcome to another weekly vlog. I am with Jade who's just edging herself. <laughs> we, I don't even know if I have words. I'm We've so done. tired. <laughs> We're going to get coffee because it's like three o'clock. <laughs> what time is it? It's half three. It's the middle of the night, We've done so much, haven't we? We've been oh, awake for so many hours. <laughs> <laughs> we had to be here at nine, so we've been up since oh. like 6 a.m. We need we've done, caffeine. We've done so much that I'm so proud we have, of us. Yeah, we've we've smashed it. We've, we've done had, like, really three well. Three guests on, right? Three guests. We've been recording for Six five seven. hours. Oh. Five hours of recording. Three guests, and we still need to do a little bit more because we need to add Jade to the intro. We need to do some intros. We need to take some Yay. pictures. We've got loads of bits to do. I need to be cute. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I know we do. I was like, put that Pepsi down. <laughs> We're gonna quickly nip, 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 nip next door and get some caffeine. We need something. Um, yeah, and then head back. I was gonna say get snacks, but we've got snacks. We've we got so those. many. We've got more yeah, snacks we don't on snacks. the table as well. Just coffee. Right, let's do this. <gasps> we just got back and I am so tired. I can't even tell you. Like I'm literally exhausted and I just have no energy. But um, I'm gonna do a quick little PR unboxing for you because a few bits turned up and then I'm going to be a vegetable for the rest of the evening and not speak because I've literally just done nine till five of non-stop talking and I'm exhausted. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but when you do a podcast episode nine till five talking, it's really difficult. It's like, imagine if you work in an office having to present a meeting for eight hours. Not just sit and observe, present and speak that entire eight hours. It's hard work, it's quite draining. So we've just done that and now I'm home. So I thought I'd show you these little bits that have turned up. One is an ASOS parcel that I actually did order. So I'll show you this one first. Um, I'm gonna open it upside down so you don't see my address. But I ordered this on Saturday, Sunday, can't remember which. But I got my Saint-Tropez Express tan. I don't know why, but no tan is currently sticking to my body. I've been using the Loving Tan in Ultra Dark, seems to not last for two days. I've used the Bondi Sands black one, you know, the black bottle. I think that's the Ultra Dark as well, I'm not sure, but the black bottle Bondi Sands, again, not lasting for more than two days. I don't know what it is, but no tan is sticking to me at the moment. So I thought I'm gonna go back to my trusty Holy Grail. It is kind of expensive, it's like 35 pounds, but this is probably one of the best tans. This and the Dark Bare by Vogue are two of my favorites. The Loving Tan I love, but I feel like it just, I love the colour and I love how it goes on, I love that it's not sticky, but I just find that it doesn't have longevity, like it goes a bit like cracked mud very, very easily. Um, I did use last night, okay, I literally used the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark two days ago. No, I used it on Friday, it's now Monday. I've had obviously like three showers, it's completely gone and I've been moisturising. Um, so I don't think it's very good and I've also used last night the Gradual Tan from Saint-Tropez, which is a medium dark. Again, hasn't really done anything. So we're going back to the Holy Grail and we're gonna see what happens. I also got the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops um, in the dark because I really like these. You just mix them with your moisturizer and you need like two drops, they last ages. I will say I don't love the Isle of Paradise tan. I like the color. I really like the color and I like that it lasts. The one thing I hate is that it's quite sticky. So I feel like I'm just kind of walking around like this or I can't, really get dressed for quite a while so that i find it annoying and then i picked up this which is called acneside it's like a gel um ben benzoyl peroxide 
Leave on daily treatment for mild acne and breakouts. Clinically proven to fight bacteria that causes spots, unblock pores and whiteheads. Basically, I've got loads of spots at the moment and I thought I would try something. And this is all over. Like when I typed it in on Google, this came up quite a few times. So I thought I'd give it a go. Can't be any harm. Um, so we'll see what it's like. So that's my little mini... So that's my ASOS haul. I've got this little parcel, which is from a brand called... I think it's like 8 Lemon Pips. Um, this brand is Divine. They sent me over two of their lemonade corset tops. So I'll show you what they look like. She hand sews these guys. Hand sews them. They are beautiful. So we've got a white one, which has just got little like straps that you tie up on the shoulders, but it's like a little corset little corset top which I thought was really sweet so she's kindly sent me over the white one they're so beautifully made oh, I miss sewing so much I would love to get back into sewing she needs to get a sewing machine and then she sent me the black version as well so I will probably try these on tomorrow and give you a proper look at them but they're so pretty so thank you so much for sending those over I cannot wait to put them on um, and then last but not least we have this box which I need some scissors for Ooh, this is the Taylor Swift bag. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, right, this is a bag that Taylor Swift has been seen wearing on many occasions recently. And I forgot actually that I was meant to be getting this. Um, this is from Open and I will leave it linked, but this is like a bag that's been sold out for ages because Taylor Swift has been spotted with it. And I just knew I had to get my hands on it because Tay Tay's an icon. I still, if you listen to the podcast, you'll know this. I can't get through a podcast episode without mentioning Taylor Swift or running. Both. But this is how cute. This is the cute little bag. How flipping adorable. So it's got the big, like, chunky charm here that's removable. You've got the braided strap and, like, the asymmetric style. But I love her. I also kind of love that she's got, like, the gap here. So when you hold your arm down, like, it's not uncomfortable. Oh, I love her. I love it so much. It's so cute cannot wait to be styling her she's very adorable she's all stuffed with loads of paper but i can't wait i love i think it's the cutest thing ever i'm obsessed so thank you very much open for that one open oh alpen open alpen unsure how you say it but i'm gonna pop this back in the box because i don't want to get it all dirty and stuff so that's gonna stay in here until i can shoot it and like do the content and stuff that i need to do with it um, but yeah, that is basically my little mini haul. Hopefully you liked it. I'm gonna go sit on the sofa, eat some dinner, and just not speak for a few hours. Your eyes tell me that you don't wanna leave just yet. No, my eyes agree. It's almost like when we first met. Oh. I don't care, it's getting too late I want you and I can't wait Don't wanna spend a minute without you I know you feel the same So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say Damn Note to self, probably should've took hay fever tablets before I sat out there <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday and as promised, I had a night of just not speaking, lying on the sofa, watching Grey's Anatomy and just honestly doing nothing. Because as I said yesterday, I think when you do like a full day of just talking and like the brain capacity to interview people, it's so much, it's a lot, like it's a lot of work. It's a bit, I would say it's arguably really difficult and I don't think many people could actually do it. Like even Jade, who's obviously new to the podcast, was like, I don't, I didn't think it would be this hard and this much work. And I was like, yep, buckle in sister, we've got a wild ride. So um, yeah, we had a whole day yesterday and today we're taking it easy. We are taking it so easy. I have basically planned a couple of bits to do that are like minimal, minimal speech, minimal effort, like very much like, let's just have the most relaxing basically. So you might have a lot of montages today, but I've been to the gym this morning. I've had my little coffee on the balcony with my little hay fever situation, like you saw. Um, I do now feel better. I've got the doors wide open because it's 26 degrees in the flat and I'm planning to sit out there and do some work in a little bit and just put the parasol up because that's the best thing about it. If you've got a balcony, I'll leave a link to our parasol, but you basically like clip it on and it's just the best thing ever. I actually don't know if we've got our... Hmm. 
I don't think I can put my parasol up because our little like holder thing is currently gone. But I'm gonna try and like, we've got cable ties, so I'm gonna try and wedge it in and just see if it works because it's really nice and warm today. I'm gonna try and go for a walk this afternoon. I've got some laptopy things that I need to get done. I used that um, acne side, whatever it was called, that I showed you yesterday that I bought. And I do feel like, I know that products aren't like miracle workers. However, I've had like quite big spots that are like not the whitehead ones. You know the ones that are just like sore lumps? I've had a few of those for weeks. And like one will come and then it will disappear and then another one will turn up. And they're all really reduced this morning. Like they're all quite a lot smaller and my skin feels a lot more clear. So I've been using my Lumi, I've been using my skincare, like really trying to look after my skin. Obviously still wearing makeup a lot, but I do feel like that's the first thing I've tried that's really helped. Um, and upping my water intake back up as well because I did get really bad at drinking water. So I need to make sure I'm on it today and hydrating. But I will link it because it is currently looking like it's working quite well. I'm going to make sure I get myself a little double doser as well in a minute. So I've got the real gut gut feel, which is baobab, apple, barley grass, kiwi, ginger. I don't hate the taste. I think it tastes and smells a bit matchery, although I do put a tiny bit of squash in just to give it a bit of flavour. And then I pop in a little scoop of collagen as well into that, just to kind of give me a little something. Still trying to sort the fact that I had dairy last week out and just make my gut feel good again. Um, but yeah, we're gonna crack on and try and get some things done. I might like power hour and just get a couple of random reels done and then we can start tackling, yeah. Let's see. We're on our way to go and get Sailor's with merch. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, me done now. Bye bye. Day day. <laughs> My favourite is when we went to Bath and you filmed like a 30 minute clip of the sunset. I love a sunset. It's, it's so actually like, a really good sunset. It's really pretty. Is it hard to resist? Mm. Yeah. It's all gone here as well. Hello team from the little podcast setup. I have been recording episodes all day online. I'm so tired. Jade and I have been going since like 10 a.m. Um, but we've done three more episodes, which is perfect. So we're up to like September now, which is really, really good going. Um, and it just means we've got everything backed up. So all the good episodes are gonna be going out. We don't have to think about it, don't have to worry about it. It's just, it's a nice feeling. But we went and got our Tay Tay merch yesterday. I can show you some of it because some of it is in the other room but this is three of the bits that I got. I did get the bracelet, which is like all the different gems for the different eras. That's currently in the other room, but this is what I picked up otherwise. So we basically went to, they had like a merch mega store for four days, five days um, over the London shows. So we went to that, picked up all our bits and then our show's not till the end of August. But I got this first, this is a size medium. So it's just got Taylor Swift, the eras tour. And then it's got the Tay Tay on the back like the big Eras Tour sign, which is very, very cute. So that one is a medium. Small, that's a small. Then I got the t-shirt in a medium. So this is the t-shirt, so it's got the same on it, but it's like the flip, and then the back's got the tour dates. I love this, it's such fab quality. It's really nice, beautiful um, quality. And then I got the sweatshirt that's in the blue. So it's got Taylor Swift Eras Tour. This one's an extra small. And then the back is like so basically the sizing was so oversized that they were advising us to get like bigger than we thought basically they were like it's all oh that's really annoying it's wonky on the front it's quite wonky they were advising us to go like size down but i'm really glad i got the bits like i love everything that i got and i can't wait to just wear it arguably some of the nicest merch that i've got from a gig and i just i can't wait i hate when you get t-shirts and stuff from gigs and they're like crunchy but these are gorge, so I can't wait to just wear them out and about, to the gym, like just wherever. But yeah, I'm very talked out. We've done a full day of podcast stuff, so I'm gonna tidy up this room because it's currently chaos. I also ordered a new phone that came today. Um, I'm finally upgrading my like tragic screens buggered, back's completely fucked <laughs> and I've changed it. So I'm really excited to actually get that out and like sort it because I'm just, I'm sick of having this crap phone. Um, so I can't wait to have a better quality one and just be able to like actually use it properly. So I'm gonna set it up in a minute when I go in the other room. I just need to remember my Apple ID password. And then I've got all the screen protector and stuff already. I just need to get the case tomorrow and then I can start using it fully because I don't wanna like ruin it or drop it or something when it's not got a case on because that'd be annoying. But yeah, project tidy up and then go chill on the sofa for the rest of the day because I am tired. Good afternoon, it's Friday. I really did not vlog yesterday because we filmed back to back like three, four episodes and I was just so tired that I could think of nothing worse than trying to pick up the camera and talk when I just didn't have any speech left in me. So today, 
Uh, he fully just ogled you then. Did you see that? He was like, <laughs> men are actually gross. Um, but Tash and I are out shooting. We haven't done this in quite a while, so we thought we'd have a shoot day today. And then tomorrow, we're actually going to see Troy Savant, which is my birthday present from the girls. So basically, Tash and Amelia thought it'd be a really cute idea. We always do activities and like fun little things. So we're doing a Troy Savant night in Manchester. We're driving there and back in a day, we're insane, but it's gonna be really, really fun. So I will bring you for the little shoot with us. I'm wearing my worst behavior jumper with my little shorts and trainers. I've got my new phone as well, so we're vlogging on that. We'll see what we think of quality, because I think it's gonna be quite good. Um, I did forget to bring the vlog camera, so that's why we're on the phone, but hopefully the quality is good enough. And I feel like it's much better quality than the old one. And I used to try and vlog on the old one all the time. So we're no longer vlogging on a tin can, basically. But we've got the coffee in, we're shooting, life is good. Hello gang, Jade and I are in a gorge little studio today. It's a very pretty, I'll give you a little tour around. There's not really much to tour, it's literally a room. <laughs> Let's just uh, pop that away just before you start. <laughs> I'm just in the background like, <laughs> literally like, hi friend. <laughs> but yeah, we thought we'd do a little studio day vlog and just show you what we're getting up to. I did just miss the most iconic moment ever though. <laughs> we did a picture, I'll put it on the screen here and show you. Um, but when I was coming down from that pose, I misjudged how close the carpet was to the chair, got carried away, and my head, how hard did it hit the floor? It cracked. Like, it made a full-blown crack. It was like, like <laughs> literally, I was like, you good? Is your brain still in there? Do you know what? It actually doesn't hurt now. Is it all right? It, that was a crack. Yeah, I was trying to look like an egg. No. <laughs> Do you? I don't know. Don't press it too hard. Yeah. It's like a baby soft spot. <laughs> Do you have a spot? Is it hurt? It's like when someone pokes a bruise. Does that hurt? Yeah, or like, did that hurt? Yeah, yeah actually. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, it <laughs> did. But we're, we're having a whole shit day. We're basically getting loads of good vibes club bits, um, also getting our own content and stuff, and we've booked out this cute little studio. So we will give you a little tour of the room. It's literally just one room. We've kind of created chaos. We've exploded already. already. Um, I feel like there should have been more hangers. If there was more hangers, we'd have it all hung up and then we'd have it all chucked in that corner. We'll now we look at it. Yeah, it's just everywhere. But um, yeah, we're gonna give you a full little thing. We did get a Starbucks as well, but Jade's frap came without a Sand, straw. sand um, straw. So she's been eating it with a spoon and it's turned into Nesquik because it's like a really hot day. <laughs> so like, look <laughs> at this like, funny. At this point, you might as well just drink it. Honestly, I am now. There's no need for the spoon anymore. It's, it's Nesquik now. <laughs> She's Nesquik. And I've just got my little latte, but we just ordered delivery yeah. here because it's got like, there's Starbucks nearby, but it's so warm today. It's the hottest day. So it's like 28 degrees. It's, it's roasting. It's, it's very, it's very roasting. warm. So we have had the fan on and the music up, but obviously turn it down to film. So we're going to get back to doing our thing. Chuck you on some montages and stuff. You can see what we're up to. Um, but yeah. Yay! I have a bit of a normal, normal vibe for you. Jade and I are both feeling it right now, and we are both. Blooked it. Oh my god, help us. So we just thought we'd show you. <sighs> it's normal to be bloated. It's also five million degrees in here it's with so, that fan on. So I'm hot. actually sticky. Yeah, I'm so hot. I'm trying, you know, you kind of like, I can't think about it too much because I'll start freaking out and panicking. <laughs> I'm bloated, I'm bloated, my tummy hurts and I'm sweaty. The worst thing is we can't even open the door because it's going to go whoosh with me. Literally. Like stepping like into an oven. Literally stepping into an oven. Oh, so hot. But we just thought we'd show you. Yay! Really bloated. I don't really know the point of this other than like just being like, <laughs> look. This is normal. She hurts. She's normal. Yay! Oh, good book. The best kind of deliveries. What have we got? So we've got Diet Coke. We've got Coke. Coke. Is yours Coke Zero? It is Coke Zero. What one is this? this is oh, my... is that my Avo one or is it? I don't know yours? if this is my Avo. Yeah, this is Avo, Olives, and Tom's. Oh, yeah, that's my one, isn't it? What did you get? Ham. A, a Caesar. Chicken, Chicken Seas. Chicken Seas. And then your cookie. And then Mon Cookie. The best cookie in the land. Yum! Good morning, guys. I don't even know what time. 
time is, I think it's like half seven. 7.52, 7.52. I've had a bit of breakfast and I've decided to come and sit on the balcony and do my gratitudes and my journaling, which I do every morning at the moment. And it's so nice just to sit outside and like be in the sun. And with my balcony this way, the sun is like facing you. So depending how hot it is, because yesterday it was way too hot to sit facing it. I quite like sitting and having the sun on my face, but I've been for my morning run. Um, my hay fever is so bad right now. Like I'm so stuffy. And we did sleep with a fan on for a couple of nights in a row. And I think that probably contributed to it as well. But um, I just feel very like stuffy and not 100%. But I do feel like it was still a good run. I did hurt my knee a little bit, so it was like niggling, and I did about 6k, and then I thought I could carry on and make this 10k, but I just didn't want to make my knee any worse, so I thought let's just like, let's cut our losses, let's just call it there, and we'll just, we'll, we'll go home and we'll call 7k a good run, you know? Um, so yeah, we're home and we're journaling. I have my journal here from the journal club. So Jess, who runs the journal club, came on the podcast actually. She came on a couple of weeks ago. Um, well, she came on last Monday, but it will have been in this vlog. And the episode will be up in a few weeks. But she basically taught us like all the importance of journaling and you know all that kind of stuff. And since we had that episode, I've been making a conscious effort to journal every day. And she actually did give us a code for the episode as well, which you guys can use if you want to, which is, um, I think it's good vibes gets you the first free month. Or if that's not working, I think first free month gets you the first free month. So try and use the good vibes one if you can, because um, obviously it helps us out and it shows her that our audience are interested. Um, if not, try the other one. I've also got a discount code for Lily Silk as well, which you might have seen the ad go up earlier this week. That one is Jess20. Um, and I have one for Current Body as well, which is, you know, they're like LED face masks because I got one of those the other day and I've used it twice now. I actually, that's reminding me, I need to take pictures of my skin this morning because I'm going to try and do like a few week comparison. So like now, and then maybe in like a month's time or something just to see um, the progress of like my skin and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to sit and write my little journal this morning. I feel, I feel like... It's, it just feels good to know you're like getting into a journal, you know, like when you've reached those first few pages and you've like really started to get into it. Like I can't wait to be at the point where I'm like here, you know, I don't know, it's, just, it's like an accomplishment. It's like my gratitude one, I'm quite a far way through, I've only got like under half left, so it just feels nice to know that you're like getting into a journal, you know. But I'm going to sit and write this for a little bit and drink my morning coffee and then head inside and get started with my day, which I'm actually quite grateful for because it's already it's already it's eight in the morning so i've still got like a whole day ahead of me and i do want to try and pop into town and get my nails done for the first time in a very long time as well because i have realized well so i stopped using my gels and i stopped eating gluten and i stopped um all active products at exactly the same time so i'm gonna really try and steer away and um, steer away from gels just for now until my skin completely calms down then we'll try them again and see what happens but i'm gonna go get acrylics which i know acrylics aren't the best i have been doing my own gels for a really long time now for like over a year i've been doing my own nails but well probably about 18 months actually but i wanted to um yeah just go and get acrylics so i've got a couple of ideas of what i want to do and i thought because it's my birthday sex it's my birthday next friday i um would get some just nice nails you know like just get some cute ones i do need to sort my hand tan out however because it's looking a bit i'm embarrassed embarrassed to go to the nail place with hands like this so i might just scrub all the tan like on my hands and then just get my nails done and then i can redo it because it looks <laughs> questionable guys i got a london marathon plate i literally i don't have words i'll put a video on the screen because when i found out i wanted to make sure that i did a video of like my emotion in that exact moment and i facetimed my mum and i recorded that as well because my mum ran the marathon a few years ago and i just have no words like i literally so I applied on a whim. I didn't even necessarily like have this urge and like this strong desire to run the marathon. And I applied because I was getting really inspired watching everyone. And I knew doing a half in a few weeks time, I'd probably want to do a full one, but I didn't get in on the ballot. And then it just sparked something in me and I was so upset. I was like, this is what I'm meant to be doing. Like I'm meant to run this marathon. Like something is telling me that I'm meant to be running this. So I applied for a couple of charity places with leukemia charities and Leukemia Care kindly accepted me onto their charity, which is so exciting. I'll leave my fundraiser down below if you did want to donate anything. It would mean the world to me. If every single person who watched these weekly vlogs donated even a pound, we'd already have nearly the whole target just from this one video. So if you could please donate anything that you can spare, I would be so grateful. If you want to know the backstory of why I chose Leukemia Care, um, I literally can't talk about it without crying.
Um, I am going to do a full marathon vlog and I've done a half marathon one as well and stuff so just know there is those coming if you're interested in it but I lost my granddad in about 2015-2016 and um, he had leukemia and I adored my granddad he was literally my favourite person in the world and um he didn't die of leukemia he actually did beat leukemia but his body was really weakened and then it was this whole thing i don't really want to go into it because it's personal and um the one thing that he said to me was that he was going to beat leukemia for me if i go out and live the life that i need to live and the life of my dreams for him and at that time i was in university i was studying fashion i was going into my final year i had loads of stuff going on and I just remember that was like my driving force for getting through uni. Everything I do in my life since that time, the driving force has always been my granddad's comment of like, you do it for me and I'll do it for you. And I can't believe I get to run the London Marathon and I can't believe that I get to do it and raise money for a charity that means so much to me. And I'm gonna stop the clip here to be honest because I'm absolutely sweating. It's currently, 27 no 28.5 degrees in my flat and there's no airflow and i'm roasting and i need to put my ice cream in the freezer but i can't wait and i can't wait to share the journey with you and like i'm going to be posting it on tiktok and sharing loads of updates and stuff and i'm just i can't believe i got a place i actually can't believe it but i need to go put these ice creams in the fridge <laughs>